Hello profit takers, it's Victoria here and we are back with another video and today I want to talk to you about the profit takers trade manager. Now this is an EA so the installation is going to be slightly different from an indicator. Okay and the, what is the trade manager going to do guys? It's going to help you to manage your trades. <laughs> Just as simple as that. All right so let's get into it. Now um some of you may already have this, some of you may not. If you um, do not have this and want to give it a try, just shoot me an email. I'll send you the file. Um, in the coming weeks, we are going to do a little bit more um, updates to the indicator itself. Um, today, I kind of wanted to go through some of the things that um, you could possibly do for your computer. Because I noticed with my computer, um, the resolution was off and it was just a little bit of things that I needed to do. Um, to take care of that and for the display to come out nice and beautiful. Okay, so I guess let me talk about that real quick um, because this was a big part of um, the indicator. Now, um, there's three things that you want to um, do to your computer if you have if it's not showing up like mine. Um, what you want to do is you can do the system. You can go to your system and hit the display button. So let me go ahead and open that so I can share it. The display settings is basically what I'm alluding to. Okay. So we have the display settings here. I think you can see those. Let me check. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to go to the scale section and you just want to change that to whatever it is to 100 percent okay that's one thing you could do the other thing you want to do is to check the compatibility of your mt4 and all you have to do is go to the icon on your desktop for your mt4 so i'm going to go ahead and go to mine and on your on your icon you want to do the right click and when you hit the right click, you want to open properties. Okay. All right. I'm sure you can see that. Let me check. Yep. You can see it. All right. So then you go to compatibility and then you want to, my box was ticked. This was ticked for whatever reason. I unticked that box. I hit apply and then I hit okay. And then that was it. Okay. And then you want to shut down your MT4 and then turn it back on. All right, so that's all you want to do with that. Now, if you do find that it may also be running a little slow, I had experienced that a little bit, um, what you're gonna have to do is scale back every indicator <laughs> that you're using. You wanna just put this on a clear chart, okay, with nothing else, and then whatever other indicators you're using, you want to add them one at a time to make sure it does not conflict with the file. If it conflicts with the file, you're going to know immediately because it's going to, it's going to, um, you know, start to slow down and it, it will take a while to progress from one symbol to the next. Okay. So you want to scale it back and see which indicators are going to work smoothly with it. All right, if you're using other things. Now, um, I'm using my Pips on Fire Peak High and Low Indicator. That works fine. The Daily High and Low, um, the Open, the Daily, uh, the Open Price. Now, what we're going to do with this um, in the coming weeks, we're going to make this indicator the EA All-Inclusive. We're going to add major zones like the weekly high and low, monthly high and low, previous day high and low. So the yesterday's day, the yesterday's high and low, you can we, we can remove that in the future and then use the all inclusive um, EA that will have that in there. Um, we have some other things that are coming, right? We want to make sure that anything that we add to this indicator is not going to conflict with with it and it will work smoothly because that's what we want it to do. OK. Now, again, um, this is the EA version. So when you install this, guys, you want to go to the EA section, right? And then you want to, um, once you get the file, you'll install it there and whatnot. And then when you get here, you're going to go to, this is my file name. So yours will have your name on there. So you already know what that's going to look like. Um, well, actually it won't. 
<laughs> because there's another there's another change that we're doing with how the license we're going you're going to be getting a license now. So um, some of you have already gotten a license, so it's going to be a little different from the way you originally got the file. But nonetheless, um, your file will be there, and then in the section uh, to you're going to immediately be asked to go to the properties. You guys are all familiar with this particular screen. Um, with the license part, your license code will go up here. All right. Um, this right here, the E in line number, this is your buy and sell um, color. You can change that yourself. And remember some, some of the um, MT4s, they may have a suffix at the end of the symbol. So you might want to make sure you go ahead and put that in there. All right. So once you got that all in there, guys, then you're ready to go. You can change this if you wanted to show an alert, push notification. You know, I don't really care for a push notification. Um, I'll leave the alerts on there so that, you know, I can share with you all when these alerts come because some people is asking me about the alerts. So once you do that, you can hit save this set, the settings here on how you have it and you can always retrieve them. But other than that, you hit OK. Um, and then you want to make sure that you just save your template, right? So whatever you want to call that, that is your um, that is your template, okay? In fact, I'll just go ahead and save. Keep it that name, just like that. Yep. So boom, I'm all ready to go. All right. So. So now let's talk about the uh, the trade manager guys. Now there's three things that you could do with this with the trade to manage your trades. You can um, you can change the risk to however many lots that you want to to trade. So let's say you you have a set number of lots, then that's what you'll put here. If it's one lot, just put one. Okay, that's your fixed lot size. All right, you have a percent. So if you want to make, if you want to risk a one percent, then you can leave it at that, or you can change it to two or three or four or five. But we know we don't want to go more than three. And then you have the dollar amount, so you can say I only want to risk a hundred dollars. Okay. So we're looking at EJ right now. It's still too early to kind of see what's going on here, but I have drawn out, um, as we can see here, we have the high you know, from last Friday. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to pretend that we're going to get um, resistance from here and uh, we're going to sell. Okay. So you just hit the sell button, right? If you just want to execute a sell straight away, what it's going to do, it's going to do automatic 25 pip uh, stop loss for you. And it's going to go down to the 50 pip um, TP, which is uh, a two. R and R and it tells you your profits there as well. Now you can move this, you know, however you want to move it. Okay. Right. For wherever you want to take your profits. So if you want to set a pending order, we can do the pending and we want to sell. So we want to do some moving around, right? We want to put the SL up there, TP down here, and then now it's changed to sell stop. Okay. Now the sell stop is going to get you in right when the price hits that area. Um, if you move it up closer to the high where you want to try and see if the price will, if they'll fill you at that point, then it's going to set it to fill at the, if price comes back to that area. Okay. Um, and then again, the sell stop, boom, wherever you want. I mean, obviously if, um, if it doesn't come back down there, then it's continuing to go up, right? And you kind of save yourself right? An entry, a wrong entry. But nonetheless, the sell stop, you know, it's, you know, we're looking at perhaps price breaking through the open day price. Um, and then we're getting into the market, right? So that's how you can use it. And again, your TP, you can move it however you want. Um, and it will tell you your R and R straight away and then your profit. Okay. That's how that works. And you just do the same thing with if you're buying, right? If you're going to buy, um, same thing, right? You have automatic execution. You can, it will just execute right straight away. And then here's your profit target. Let's say we do get, 
um, price does cross the high and we get support, then, you know, that's another possibility that could happen, right? Um, it could, right now it's the buy limit. So the stop loss again, 25 pips. We're risking 2.3, so that's about $100 to make 200. Um, uh, so basically, this is the limit. So price coming down to this area to fill you in, or you can just buy stop, right? So a good place to do a buy stop is above yesterday's high, because if that was the case and price continued, right, then obviously it will be ideal for price to come to this area, get... Um, support and continue, right? If that's what price was doing. Again, I don't know what's price going to do. I'm not giving you any um, entry like right now because it's too early in the in the session to do anything right now because I want to wait to see what price is going to do, if this high is going to hold or not. But that's how you can set your, um, your orders, how you can execute your orders um, and manage your trades that way. I think it's a great tool. And then you're going to see the overall profit loss you know, it's going to calculate everything here for you. You can even select here to have a actual profit target for the day, or you can just check the box if that's what you want. Um, or if you, um, another cool thing about the indicator, uh, the trade manager is if you have a daily drawdown limit, okay, this is how you save your account. So when you make sure you check that box, what's going to happen is if it hits a $500 um, drawdown, it's going to lock you out. You're not going to be able to trade, <laughs> right? So that is a good thing. Now, this is great if you're doing prop firms as well. Maybe you want to um, keep yourself from getting back into the market to revenge trade. Um, this is really good for you to, you can use it for that. So if you do want to use this on a prop account, I know it's going to be a little risky because, you know, um, you may have multiple accounts. I'm happy to change these indicators. Um, I do have a way. I'm going to test it with y'all, okay, to put multiple accounts in there for your particular license. And if that works, then it will be great for me because then we can only do, we can put in multiple accounts and you can test it out on different. Um, if you have a, uh, a prop from account and then you have your own account, it's always good to do that, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm happy to do that for y'all. Um, so that is it guys. And then of course you just, you can close, you know, close everything, close the sale, close your buys, whichever ones that you want to close out, you can do that as well. All right. So that is the profit takers trade manager. And you know, this is available to you all. Just let me know, um, if you want to give this a try and make sure you take note of the, things that I initiated and started this, uh, this training call with, if you will, it did turn into a bit of a training call on what you can do to make sure that this thing is showing properly for you. Okay. All right. So everything should look just like this really beautiful, um, clear. This is an updated file. So don't expect the file that you get to have this, um, the way they he did this was just all lined up like this. It's not all this, um, what is this called, guys? I can't even remember this term when it's just the format, the way he did it this way, where it's in the middle, as opposed to just sitting off to the left side or the right side. I can't even remember now. <laughs> but nonetheless, nonetheless, guys, it's still going to look the same. Um, and this would this should work smoothly for you as it is for me. Okay. All right. That is all for now. You guys have a great evening and we will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.